everyone and to the saints of the most high God you're now listening to the whole truth program coming to you from the sanctuary of the church in the Lord Jesus Christ of the Apostles Doctrine Incorporated where Bishop Joe C. Tisdale is pastor and general overseer now let us bow our heads in prayer and meditations as we are led by Minister Smith Father, Lord God, in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord God, once again, we want to thank you. Lord God, we want to give you the praise, my God, and the glory. My God, we want to thank you for blessing your people to enter into the house of prayer once again. Lord God, that we may offer our spiritual sacrifices in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord God, we pray, my God, as thy great and mighty word go over the forth of the ways of the air, my God, that you bless hearts and minds everywhere. My God, we pray, my God, that you prick them with the words of truth. Lord God, that's able to give them life in the gospel of Jesus Christ. Lord God, bless them to come to repentance and remission of sins in the name of Jesus Christ. My God, to be baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ for the remission of their sins. My God, we pray that they charity to be filled with the gift of the Holy Ghost. Speaking with other tongues that the Spirit of God do give them utterance. Lord God, help them to continue steadfastly in the apostles' doctrine, breaking the bread, adding prayer. Lord God, we pray for the man of God. We pray, my God, that you have a word in his mouth, my God, and help him to speak the word of God with boldness. My God, standing against everything that's not like your word. Lord God, continue to bless the church, bless the sick, the shut in, the burden down, and the trouble. My God, help them to look to the hills from which cometh their help. Lord God, we pray that you continue to add to the church daily, such as should be saved. These and all blessings we ask in the great and mighty name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, to the glory of God. Again, you're listening to the Whole Truth Program. If you have any questions or comments concerning the Bible, you may mail your correspondence to The Church in the Lord Jesus Christ of the Apostle, Apostles Doctrine Incorporated, Bishop Joe C. Tisdale, Post Office Box 2017, Hartsville, South Carolina, 29551. You may also call our toll-free number at 1-877-332-5661. You may also visit our website for additional church information, such as beliefs, calendar events, as well as audio sermons preached by Bishop Tisdale. Our official website address is www.dchurchin.org. At this time, we'll be favored with a selection from the choir entitled, Come Unto Jesus. You are to God, come to the Lord, to the Lord Jesus. Oh, why you have time? Don't put it on. You are to God, come to the Lord, to the Lord Jesus.
And now it is indeed an honor to present unto you the man of God, our pastor and general overseer, Bishop Joe C. Tisdale. We are thankful and do give much honor and praises always to our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ, who is still God Almighty, still the one that have all power, still the one that have shed the precious blood, that we all be saved from our sin. Yes. We do honor him in a great and a mighty way. We do praise him for everything he has done for the human family. Amen. God, the Lord, has never left us alone. He's always been for his people. And I hope that each and every one of you would strive to be the people of God. We do greet every one of you with much love, joy, and peace. May it be multiplied unto the entire world in the name of our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. We know that according to the words of God, that the Lord is going to come. We want to look at the word of God, third chapter of Second Peter, we understand the word of God, that the Lord is doing all things according to his word. And please don't kind him short. Amen. He's just long-suffering to us, Lord. Not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. You can't hear too much word about how to get your soul right with the Lord. Man. He's coming, you know. Mm -hmm. Amen. He's coming for a church of people that's going to be ready when he comes. He's going to come so quickly. Because he said, behold, I come quickly. My reward is with me to give every man according to his work shall it be. The Lord is coming so quickly, you won't have time to repent. You won't have time to get salvation. Amen. The earth is cool. The Lord has given you the opportunity to get your souls right to meet him. Amen. Sure enough, he's coming. Doesn't matter how beautiful the sky looks. You can look up there, the only thing you see is the sun shining and a beautiful blue sky but if you keep watching that blue sky sooner or later it's going to change to clouds oh yeah it's going to change to storm and raining and it doesn't look like it's going to happen when you see the blue sky it doesn't seem like he's coming is that right but you just keep your eyes in the clouds look up the word said, for your redemption draweth now. Amen. Look up. He's going to come. Amen. And when he comes, you've got to be ready. Amen. Is that right? Amen. All right, reader. Let's see what it says. 2 Peter 3 and 1. All right. This second epistle below. Yes. I now write unto you. Yes. And both which I stir up your pure minds by way of remembrance. All right. I want to help people to remember what happened and what's going to happen. You know what happened to the old world, right? Amen. It rained upon the earth. Yes. I want you to remember this now. We can reminisce in the word of God and see what God did to a disobedient nation of people. Man. God warned them through the preacher. Mm-hmm. He warned the preacher that it was going to be 120 years. And the preacher built an ark for the saving of the people. Well, we have Jesus Christ for the safety of the people now. And that's faith in him. Amen. Amen. And surely one day 
My God, according to the words of God, it wasn't any rain upon the earth. Moisture came from beneath, amen, and watered the plants or the That's flowers right. or whatever. That's right. But, amen, God said it was going to rain. Amen. And it rained. Yes, it did. And all that wasn't in the ark, my God, the word said they all perished. They perished. Meaning they were lost. Amen. If you're not in the safety zone, if we are not in the church that is called by the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and he is the head, we won't be able to get that ride in the rapture. Amen. Amen. It's a warning. I want you to remember, soon the rain came. Amen. My yeah. God, and the door was shut. No one else could get in. That's Isn't right. that something? That's God right. going to close it out one day. Oh, yeah. Is that right? Won't, buy, won't be able to get in. That's right. While it's open and while it's free through grace in our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, everybody ought to come on in. This is a warning from the Lord, you know. Oh, yes. You don't have to do it as it were in the days of Noah. I want yes. you to remember the That's word right. now. So shall it be in the days of the come, coming of the Son of Man. God going to come so quickly. Amen. Is that right? Amen. You won't have time to repent. He's Amen. preaching now. His voice is going out. Repent. Amen. Whether you like it or not. That's you see, right. that what I have to do? Yes, that's what you have to I do. Have to do it. Is, is that right? Amen. Amen. What the word say, read it. That ye may be mindful of the words. Oh, I want you to be mindful of the word now. Which right. were spoken before by the holy prophets. Holy prophets. And speak, speak these words. That's right. And and of the commandment of us, the apostles of the Lord and Savior. Oh, yeah. The commandment still saying it right oh, now. Yeah. Warning men and women. That's the purpose of the gospel. You don't know the purpose of the gospel? The purpose of the gospel is for you to get right with God. Amen. The purpose of the gospel is to bring you back to God. Because we yes. left the holy estate that God had yes. for man when a man is Eve, his wife Eve, was found deceived and found in the transgression and ate something that God told him not to eat. She ate it first and gave it to her husband. That makes all of us born in sin. Amen. Is, is that right? Amen. And have come short of the glory of God. But Amen. one day, he's coming back. Surely, surely. I said to everybody, please, I'm beseeching you. My God, I'm begging you. Amen. You ought to take heed to God. Amen, because I know Noah put the word out. Yes, he did. But they went in the days of Noah, amen, so shall it be in the days of the coming of the Son of Man. What were they doing? Eating, Eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage. Everybody pain. is fooled today about another mate. I got to have somebody. They're so ignorant about the mate now until males going and grab another mate. Mm. female going and grab another female. That, that's the way it's going on in the world. Yes. Can't you see it? It's happening. My God, the end is drawing now. Amen. Is that right? Amen. As God destroyed, amen, the twin cities, Sodom and Gomorrah, yeah. because they went after strange flesh, yeah. the world is going after strange flesh, and God going to destroy this world. Amen. What he's going to do? Burn it up. Yes. Is that right? Amen. What is that, reader? Read the word. Knowing this first. Yes. That there shall come in the last days scoffers. You're going to have some scoffers on board. Walking after their own lust. That's what the world is doing. Walking after their own lust. That's what right. they want to do. They're That's doing right. what they want to do instead of do what the commandments of Jesus Christ say. Is that right? Amen. Amen. What is that, reader? And saying. And saying, where is the promise of his coming? Where is the promise of his coming? For since the fathers fell asleep. That's right. All things continue as they were from the beginning of the creation. You see this? For Amen. this they willingly are ignorant of. The words say they are ignorant. That by the word of God. That by the word of God. The heavens were of old. Look at here. The heavens were of old. And the earth standing out of the water the and in the water. Standing out of the water and in the water. Whereby the world that then was. Whereby the world that was there was. Being overflowed with water. Overflowed with water. What perished. happens? It perished. Amen. It perished. 
No Amen. more water. That's right. Is that right? Amen. Men have submarines built. They said, let the water come. We'll go in the submarine. Is that right? My God, your submarine going to burn up. The water you yes, put sir. in there is going to burn yes, up. Is that right? Amen. It's going to be fire next time. Oh, yeah. Is that right? This is a warning, you know. All God want to do is let it come to your air. And once it hits your air, that's a witness. That's it. That's Amen. a witness that you have heard. Holy what Holy. is it, reader? But the heavens and the earth, which are now, yes. by the same word are kept in store. You see, the same word is kept in store. Reserved unto fire. What? Reserved unto fire. Water. Reserved unto fire. Somebody say, I can swim now. <laughs> you won't swim in that fight. Is, is that right? Amen. The word have it reserved. You don't have to take it. But good God, God going to have somebody to tell you what it says. Oh, is yeah. that right? Man. As long as the earth go, amen, God going to have somebody oh, yes. to tell you what's going to happen. Yes, Why? Warning comes before destruction. Yes. Oh, yeah. God warning his people. Yes. Day and night, God calling. <clears throat> My amen. God, from the rising of the sun till the going down thereof, he's calling his people. Man. All you have to do is believe him and submit yourself to him. Is that right? Man. We went astray in God because we were in unbelief. Mm -hmm. But now faith will bring you back to God. Amen. Faith in Jesus Christ. Believing that he's God and he's coming back again. Jesus. Is he coming back again? Coming back. Oh, he's coming back again. Amen. And you better be ready because somebody is telling you to be ready. Amen. Don't be ignorant. That's right. My God, don't put time on God. No, no. He said he's coming. Yeah. And I believe he's coming. What does it say, read it? Reserved unto fire. Reserved unto what? Unto fire. Unto fire. Against the day of judgment. Against the day of judgment. And fire. And perdition. And the perdition. Of ungodly men. Of ungodly men. Amen. You better hear the word. Amen. If I was you, I would hear it. Amen. I would take an understanding and all you'll get in the word say, Get an, get an understanding. I want to get an understanding why this earth is here, why I'm upon this earth. Is that right? Amen. I want to have an understanding that God created me for his glory. That's right. Is that right? Amen. And I'm supposed to be praising him, giving him the glory and honor for being our Savior, the only Savior, no other Savior, one that's helping us every second of the day. If you're alive, you're getting your help and strength from God. Is, is that right? Uh, no man can say amen that God is not helping him. He's helping every man. Yes. If he's breathing, God, he's breathing God's air. Is that right? My God, he's breathing God's air. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We ought to realize that we are living by Jesus Christ. Amen. Is, is that right? Because he owns, you know, he owns us. Oh, he yeah. bought us with the price. Joyce. What does it say, reader? Read on. But beloved. But beloved. Be not ignorant of this one thing. Don't be ignorant of this one thing. That one day is with the Lord as it, a thousand years. That's it. Don't put time on God. And God it, was here before the world began. Yes, he oh, yeah. was. Is that right? Yeah. An hour doesn't mean an hour to God like it is to us. Uh -huh. An hour to God, a, a day can be a thousand years. <laughs> is that right? Yeah, man, and we say a day is a day. Yeah, 12 hours in a day, huh? And I said 24 hours in a day. Well, you have to look at the night and the day, right? Think of the time, 12 hours is daytime. 12 hours at night. So I'm going to believe what Jesus said. He said 24 hours a day. Jesus said, amen, work while it is what? Day. Hey. Well, why did Jesus didn't say all day? Jesus said, we're quality's day. He given us something there to go by. Night cometh, he said, right? So it must be day and night. Oh, yeah. I believe it's day and night. Amen. Is that right? Amen. God separated the light and put the sun in the day. Oh, yeah. Amen. And moon in the night. That's right. God said day and night. Yeah. I'm going to say day and night. Is that right? I'm going to say what Jesus said. What is it reading? And a thousand years as one day. Is one day. 
The Lord is not slack concerning his promise. You people think you can do what you want to do. Mm. You do it in the closet. Nobody know what you're doing. You do it as a word saying you wipe your mouth. <laughs> but God sees you doing it. Yeah. Is, is that right? Yeah. You can hide, but you can't hide from God. Yeah. God sees you. He sees every one of us. Amen. And he knows who we are. Yeah. Is that right? Man. By God, God know who we are. God know who's going into the kingdom of oh, heaven. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Thank God I believe without a shadow of doubt that I'm one of them oh, yeah. that's going into the kingdom of God. Thank God. I, I love the Lord. Say, how you love him? I'm trying to do what he said. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Lord, help me to do what you say. Yes. Is, is that right? God will help us because he, he's the only one that can help us. I'll help us in the name of the Lord. What does it say, reader? The Lord is not slack concerning his promise. Go ahead and count God slack. Like he doesn't see who we are. Yes, he does. Read. As some men count slack. Yeah, someone's counting it slack. He won't stop doing wrong. Is that right? Man. You're doing wrong and you call it right. Man. Don't you know God will give you over? To a reprobate mind, you're going to be believing lies and everything you want to believe, but it won't right. be right with God. That's right. Is that right? He's warning us. What does it say, read it? But as some men count slack. Yes. But as long suffering to us, Ward. God has given me time every day here to come to repentance. God given me time to reconcile to him. Yeah. Is that right? Amen. God given us time to gain faith in him. Amen. Jesus told his apostles, have faith in God. Yeah. God given us time to have more faith in him. Yeah. Is that right? So yeah. much faith, I moved a mountain out of my life. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. Faith will move that mountain. Yeah. Every hindrance caused that's in your way, faith will move it out of your way. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. Move it out of your way so you can praise God yeah. and give him the glory. Yeah. Faith will cause that. Yeah. Faith will help us to do everything we need to do in God. Amen. Is, is that right? Amen. Faith. You have to remember, this is what's going to help a man to be saved today. Oh, yeah. Faith. Thank God. That's right. That's, right. Amen. That's the foundation of it now. That's right. A man has to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes. That righteousness has to come by faith. Yeah. Is that right? Amen. Amen. I believe it's in the third chapter of the book of Romans. We, have, we, can, we can have faith now and be right in God. We don't need the Lord to tell us, thou shall not do this, thou shall not do that. Faith will help us to live right. Is that right? Amen. Faith, the more faith you have, more righteous person you are. Oh, yeah. is, is that right? Yeah. Faith. Faith in Jesus Christ. Is that right, Read it. Third chapter of Romans, I believe, somewhere in there. Amen. We have to have that faith that's in Abraham. Oh, that faith was in him. Is that right? That's right. We need the same faith. Faith will help us to be a righteous person before the Lord. Thank you, Lord, for being a righteous person. Is that right? More, you have to have faith to be a right. You say, I can't live right. You just don't have any faith. Jesus said, Thou can't believe. He said, All things are possible. Is that right? All things are possible. Possible if I only had some faith in here. Faith will help me live right. Is that right? Faith will make me stick with one wife. Faith will make you stick with one husband. Is that right? Don't come up here saying Solomon had many. Is that right? Don't come up here and saying I can be like Solomon. Solomon day is over with now, boy. Solomon was on the law. Yeah. We on the truth and grace. Amen. Is that right? Amen. All right, read it. Romans 3 and 21. All right, look but, what the words say here. But now the righteousness of God without the law is manifested. Yes. Being witnessed by the law and the prophets. Yes. Even the righteousness of God, which is by faith of Jesus Christ. Uh, uh, the righteousness of God, you see why you can't do right? You're not believing on the Lord Jesus Christ. You don't have any faith in him. Yes. So you can't do right. That's right. 
What did word say, read it? Even the righteousness of God. Even the righteousness of God. Which is by faith of Jesus Christ. Which is by faith of Jesus Christ. Unto all. Unto all. And upon all them that believe. Upon all them that believe. Amen. When I believe, God makes me right by my belief in him, by my faith in him. I'm right. Believe on him. That's what's going to cause you to be right today. That's right. Believe on him. What that word say again, reader? Even the righteousness of God. The, even the righteousness of God. Which is by faith of Jesus Christ. Which is by faith of Jesus Christ. Unto all. Unto all. And upon all them that believe. Upon all them that believe. You see, people, you better have some faith for that word yeah. before the word turn loose that fire. That's right. That's right. Is, is that right? Yeah. So I'm going to believe him so my faith will be increased. So I can do what he said. Yes. You can't do what God said if you don't have the faith in him. Yeah. Only way you can please him by believing that he is and bring some faith along with That's right. Him. Yeah. Is that right? Amen. Amen. That's the only way we can please God. Mm -hmm. Go back, read it. It's by faith Second, through Jesus Christ. Second Peter 3 and 9. If I don't get this faith, I'll never live right. Is that right? Faith, the only thing that would cause me to be a righteous man. Amen. Why did it say read it? The Lord is not slack concerning his promise. That's right. As some men count slack. Yes. But it is long suffering to us, Lord. Read. Not willing that any should perish. You see this? But that all should come to repentance. God wants you to come to repentance. What you think he's waiting on you for? Read. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. Yes, it's coming. In the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise. Uh oh. And the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Yes. The earth also. The earth also, also, and the works that are therein the, shall be burned up. Go ahead and love the works of the world. It's going to be burned up. Amen. Your fancy places, your, your mansion on the hill, it's going to be burned up. Read. Seeing then yes. that all these things shall be dissolved. Yes. What manner of persons ought you to be in all holy conversation and godliness? What kind of conversation? In all holy conversation. Holy conversation. And godliness. And godliness. Looking for it. Looking for and hasting unto and the coming hasting of the day of God. Of the coming of the day of the Lord. When the heavens being on fire, on fire shall be dissolved. All right. And the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Look at this. You don't believe it, do you? Well, I believe it. May God bless you. You have to listen to the whole truth program. Coming to you from the same church. He's the church of the Lord Jesus Christ. Apostle Dr. Located in the church. Oh, yeah. Tune in again to hear the word of God. Yeah, Lord oh, Jesus. the church Oh, Jesus. 